Hello beautiful people, hope you all are well. Today in this video, I am going to show you the steps to compress high quality multiple photos to make them much smaller than their original size without losing the picture quality. But, please do not skip any part of the video, otherwise, you would not able to compress your images and you have to watch it again. Before starting the video, here you can see the compression ratio of this image. This is only for example. This is the original image, which is almost 3.7 megabytes. And this one is the compressed version of this original image. And it is only 600 kilobytes after compression. You can see that this original image is very sharp and clear. But this converted image also has the same clarity and quality. Now, let's start the video. These days, the photos taken by the latest digital cameras and any smart devices need huge disk space to store. The average size of an image shoot by a DSLR is 4 to 5 megabytes. Therefore, the more you shoot photos, the more disk spaces need to store. But if you compress those photos properly, then you can free up your disk space, you can store more photos and you can send those images easily through email or other digital ways. Here I have some high quality photos in this folder, which I am going to compress to show you in this video. You can see, there are 53 image files which are 201 MB in size. You can look at these photographs in this folder. These are some high quality photos, ranging in size from 2 megabytes to 5 megabytes. Now I am going to compress all these photos at a time. Here is an empty folder, where we will store our compressed images. You can see that this folder is totally empty. There are several ways to compress large images. Today we are going to use a lightweight but very powerful software to compress our images. It is one of the best image compression apps called Cesium. It supports multiple image compression simultaneously. And most importantly, it is 100% free. Let's see how to compress images with Cesium. First, download and install Cesium's latest version on your PC. The download link is given below in the description of this video. I have already installed it on my PC, so I am directly going to open the app. This is the dashboard of the software, which looks very simple and clean. To add photos for compression just click on this first folder icon and then you add multiple photos by selecting them using the mouse and the control key of your keyboard. You can clear all photos from the app dashboard by pressing this clear list button. But if you want to add all the images from a folder at once, then you have to click on this add folder icon. As we are going to compress all the images of our folder, we will select this add folder option. Just click on the add folder button and find and select your folder. You can see that all 53 images are added here automatically. After adding the photos, you have to set the image quality here. You can adjust the number by dragging this slider or you can also set it manually. If you need more compression then lower the number as required. For our test, we will set the number at 20. Then check this box same for all by clicking on it. And then click the set quality button. After that, we have to set the output folder. I have already created a folder on the desktop to keep the compressed images. You can choose any folder or location to store your photos. Additionally, if you want to change the format of the output image, then you can change it here. Now just click on the compress option and wait for a few minutes to complete the compression task.
the compression process has completed successfully. Here you can see the result. All 53 images are compressed and this saved almost 180 megabytes. Let's see if the compressed images have the same quality as their original images and see how compressed they actually are. You can see that there are all the 53 images are present. If we check their properties, you may also notice that the total size of the compressed images is only 21 megabytes, which is only 10% of the size of the original images. If we open an image, you can see that these pictures look the same as the original pictures. There is no loss of photo quality. That's all for today. If you like the video please comment, share, give a thumbs up, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.